Good morning. Happy Thursday. Or as we call it here, chips and salsa day, because this is the typical day where we have our little iFast family dinner at my favorite Mexican restaurant, um, which is currently closed. So we're going to figure something out. Um, for those of you that, that live in my area, if you have any ideas as to where I can get some really good Mexican carry out, I would really appreciate it because I've been going to the same restaurant for eight years and I, I really don't like to change, but it looks like I'm going to have to do it. So, so let me know on that if you, if you guys like to know me, know where I live kind of a thing. Um, I have my Neuro Coffee in hand as usual and it is perfect. Um, I got a question from, from uh, Vikram and Vikram had a question about the squat video that I posted about six days ago. I believe it was March 19th where we were talking about the, the, the transition from, from inhalation to exhalation to inhalation during the, the heels elevated squat pattern to uh, reduce the, the anterior posterior compressive strategy. And so he had some really good questions about this and I'm sure everybody has a, a similar question. So, so I thought I would go through these. Um, cause he, he broke it down into three pieces for me here. He says, number one is the reason for pushing through the medial heel on the ascent to, to promote pronation exhalation strategy. Absolutely. So remember when you're at the bottom of the squat, you know, I'm going to grab my pelvis here so we can sort of simulate this. So when you're at the bottom of the squat, we are actually in a position of inhalation and ER. So we've got counter nutation. Of the of the sacrum, we've got ER of the ilium. We have a descent of the of the pelvic diaphragm because we are in this this early propulsive position. Therefore, it is it is biased towards inhalation. So we need to exhale to push the pelvic diaphragm upward as we push through the sticking point to get above the sticking point. Um, so yes, we definitely want to push on the medial heel and exhale at the same time. And that actually helps us restore a normal exhalation strategy without compensatory strategies being superimposed. So that's kind of a big deal. Um, during the ascent, would there be any benefit to reversing the exact sequence as in the, the descent of the squat? So, so what he's referring to here, so remember we're biasing ourselves towards inhalation at the, at the, the top of the squat, we exhale. Uh, to the sticking point and then we inhale again to, to full descent and what we're trying to do there with that sequence is to again restore a normal inhalation to exhalation um, behavior without the compensatory strategies so we go from inhalation exhalation to the sticking point which is normal and then to inhalation again to get to the full descent as we reverse gears and push up it is unnecessary to reverse the, the, the sequence because it's going to happen naturally. We're starting from a bias of inhalation. We push through the sticking point, which is our, which are our, our concentric pelvic diaphragm. So the pelvic diaphragm is descended at the bottom. We exhale through the sticking point, it pushes up, and then you're just going to take a normal inhale at the top and, and, and reestablish your anterior posterior expansion at that point. So it is unnecessary to intentionally reproduce the same strategy that we use on the descent. But that's a really good question. Finally, he says, uh, what superficial compressive strategy would be reinforcing by taking the breath that you took at the top and held it through the middle propulsive phase? Doesn't really matter. Point being is, is that you will use a superficial compression strategy and chances are you will use everything that's available to you under those circumstances to some degree because all the superficial compressive strategies are superimposed at the same time just to varying degrees. So the whole point of performing the heels elevated squat in the sequence as I demonstrate on the March 19th video. So the whole premise behind that is one is to reduce the superficial compressive strategies that happen in it from an anterior posterior aspect. Okay. So we're biasing ourselves towards the ability to, to inhale without compensation, exhale without compensatory strategy, and then to re-inhale in the, in the depth of the squat, and then restore the normal pattern on the, on the ascent as well. So this is a really good question, Vikram. I'm glad you asked it. I'm sure you've helped someone else today by, by asking this question. Have a fabulous Thursday. I am gonna find some Mexican, Mexican 
carry out no matter what it takes today. I'm gonna enjoy the rest of my neuro coffee this morning and I'll see you guys later.